In this lesson, you'll explore provided bootstrap examples and code snippets. There are some awesome examples provided by Bootstrap that can serve as starter templates for your projects. If you decide to use one, just make sure to cite your sources. Use Bootstrap documentation as a critical resource while building websites with the Bootstrap CSS framework. It's not your responsibility to memorize every aspect. Use the given examples, but remember to cite your sources. Let's create some professional looking web pages by using Bootstrap examples as starter templates. For examples and themes, visit the Bootstrap Docs example site here. Let's dive into Bootstrap examples and see how we can utilize them in the editor. Here's the Bootstrap examples documents page. On this page, you can find a bunch of free, useful templates to get you inspired and for you to use in our editor when building a new project. For example, we see that there's different snippets for different types of components that you can add to your website, such as a header, different heroes, sidebars, drop downs, footers, even modals. There's other usable components, such as pricing pages, checkout pages, even building out dashboards, even build out a blog using this template. I'd like to explore one of these before adding it to your website. Click on the component and then test the template before adding it to the editor. For example, I can explore this template for a blog page, and then using the template, I can add it to my website. Everything you see here is customizable. For now, these are just placeholders, but I can fill them in with my own information. Let's head to the editor and customize it. For these examples, you'll need to download the examples file from the Bootstrap stock. Then, I add them to our IDE like this. Here, I had to add three files for this blog, index.html, blog.css, and blog.rtl.css. We can see that the template is now available in the editor. What if I wanted to customize the title here? Currently, this blog is called large. I want to change that. So what I can do is I can find it in the editor. I can use control F, type in large. And here I see that there's text labeled blog header logo text dark. Let's try to change this piece of text and see if it updates the title on the top of the page. Let's call it coding blog. And when I refresh the page, I see that the title at the top of the page was changed. What if I wanted to also change the categories here? Currently, it's world, US, technology, design, culture, business, etc. I don't think I need all of these subjects, so I'll try to find these in the code and I can actually delete them. Here they are. Here we see that there is a class called nav scroller, and I'm assuming that is the nav bar here. Let's try deleting some of these things out of the nav bar. When I reload the page, we see that there are some categories missing. We can also rename these as well. Let's change the title of this blog post here. Before making bigger changes, it's helpful to write some helpful tester code so that editing the correct component. For example, I'll write test article here so that when I reload the page, I can see that I indeed edited the right component. There are a lot of other things that we can edit on the page, such as the titles, the text, also the position of the elements. Or some of the components on the page, I need to edit the CSS that's part of this template. But what if I wanted to change the from Playfair Display in Georgia to Avenir? I could change that here. 
And if I refresh, you see that the text changed to a more modern, then the ways that I can customize this template is limitless.